Hey guys, Rusty, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Cool, hey? Hey guys, Rusty over here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to summon and kill every single Coral Ancient Rare in Nazistar for some easy rep with either the Unshackled or whatever the Alliance one is. I think it's the Ann Cohen. Anyways, these are also very easy to solo once you do actually summon them. The most important thing is you just interrupt Coral Growth and don't stand in the Swirlies. He's also going to- they'll also knock you back a little bit. There's not much you can do about that. These are all pretty easy to solo. The only hard part for mainly just one of them is actually summoning them. Now again, the reason you want to kill these, sometimes they'll drop an ancient Reefwalker Bark that when you turn this in, you'll get a bunch of rep. It levels up your followers, gives 100 to each follower. It gives you 350 rep for turning it in, and on top of that, it'll usually level up at least one follower for another 250 rep. So let's learn how to summon. The first, by the way, I'll leave timestamps down below for you. First one's going to be Urdu there. So head over there, and then basically you're going to fly over to this waterfall area here, and you're going to have a Staghorn Reefwalker here. By the way, make sure you dismiss, you, you want to dismiss any of the combat allies that throw up. They'll be annoying. You can see here, mine just starts aggroing it. Anyways, what you're going to do, drag the Reef Walker over to the Coral Ancient, and then from there, base, make sure it's also right on top of it and facing the Coral Ancient. Once you do that, kill it off, and that'll awaken the Coral Ancient there. Or do, and then you're just going to go ahead and kill him again. Just make sure you interrupt the Coral, gro coral Growth. Don't stand in the Swirlies. He's also going to do an Angry Stomp, which will usually just knock you back. Don't worry about it. Just avoid the Swirlies. Interrupt Coral Growth. This is the easiest one to summon. Start off with this guy first, but again, I will have time since down below for the others. So before we move on to the next one, head over to the Drowned Market and talk to Faye. I'm not even trying to say her name. Basically, she has this Drowned Hippogriff here, this vendor that costs 40 mana pearls. You might as well buy it because, I mean, what else are you going to spend mana pearls on? Gear upgrades? <laughs> Nah, pets. Anyways, once you have the pet, head over to where I am. You're going to have the, another Coral Ancient here. And all you're going to do, just summon the Drowned Hatchling that you just bought. You don't need to do anything else with it. Just summon it and Oranu will wake up. And it's just like the other one, you're going to go ahead and kill him. He's going to knock you back. Avoid the Swirlies. And again, the most important thing, just make sure you interrupt Coral Growth, which if it's not interrupted, it'll just heal and basically make it all take longer. So interrupt it, guys. There's, you might as well, right? Third one. First, first three are very easy, by the way. The third one is going to be over here in this waterfall area, kind of to the south of New Home. And once, what you're going to want to do, you're going to find one of these muck slugs. Now, before you even actually do this, you're going to need something called a prismatic crystal. Now, these prismatic crystals, what they do, they let you charm critters and they'll just follow you around in Najatar. Now, these crystals spawn in basically around waterfall areas in Najatar. For example, that one I actually found where uh, Kelpolo spawns, which I believe the ancient we're doing now. I think that's his name. Anyways, once you have a prismatic crystal, find a mux log and it's going to follow you around. So all you're going to do, kind of similar to the other two, you're just going to drag it to the coral rare. And as soon as you're there, hey, I, first, I, I guess he, he likes slugs. What do you, you know what? I don't judge. He likes what he likes. Anyways, just like all the other Coral Ancient Rares, by the way, <laughs> that walking animation. Hey, you ever walk up water? Just interrupt Coral Growth. You're going to get knocked back from Angry Stomp. The only annoying thing with this one is that sometimes it can be hard to see the Swirlies on the ground. Now, the final Coral Ancient, Aminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminaminamina
if you have a follower, you can see here, my follower just stunned it for 10 seconds. Just dismiss your follower, guys. Unless it's still, I think there's one that heals you that might not do it. Actually, no, no, it roots it then. Anyways, just dismiss a follower. It's just a nuisance and it's basically going to make it take longer. Uh, another thing you want to do, if you can try and interrupt the caustic flame, it's not that big of a deal. All it does is put a swirly on the ground. Once you get there, jump down, but make sure the colossal sky ray is right on top of you before you do. Again, the reason for that is if you're too far out, it will despawn. Well, not despawn, but it'll de aggro and go away. Again, once you're down there, wait for it to be pretty much directly on top of you. Then hop down on top of this coral here. Just keep dodging swirlies. Those tornadoes, I believe, will knock you up. I have actually never gotten hit by them, but I mean, it's a tornado. I mean, let's be honest, it'll probably do that. And just keep uh, scaling down these corals here until eventually the Colossal Sky Race is on the bottom. Again, the most important thing, just keep attacking it constantly and just stay as close to it as, possibly, as you possibly can while dragging it down to the bottom. However, once it could, also again, make sure I just want to reiterate that sucking teeth ability if you're not in tank spec hits really hard. So once you're down at the bottom, all you're going to do, just like the other Coral Ancients, drag it on top of the Coral Ancient, then you're going to go ahead and kill it off. And hey, Eminem and Eminem and Eminem and Eminem and Eminem has just spawned. Simple enough. After you, basically the hardest part is getting the Colossal Sky Ray to the him. Once you do that, simple enough. And then just like always, Angry Stomp goes out, you're going to get knocked back interrupt the uh, coral growth so he doesn't heal and don't stand this really the actual coral ancients are easy again it's just getting that colossal sky right there anyways guys i hope this guide helped you again there will be timestamps down below i'll see you in the, the video i mean you probably watched the whole thing anyways congratulations on your rep i hope this helped you get maybe flying quicker if you don't have it already except unless you're doing eminem and I'm gonna here or if you want maybe the paragon caches for the paragon mount that comes out of it i really hope i, I can't believe they brought back paragon mounts anyways guys thank you very much for watching i do hope this guide helped you uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions if you want to see what other videos you guys would like me to see and if you just liked it and you want to tell me how great I am Thank you very much guys. I love you all